Hey YouTube, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kitty, and you're watching Virtual Access. I first want to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel recently. Thank y'all so much. I hope you continue to enjoy my content. But today is the monthly closeout of June, and we'll be doing from the 22nd to the 30th, so there will be two paydays in this week. And as you can see, I already have my no-spend days marked, and I have a lot of them. I have five no-spend days, you guys, so let's go ahead and do these transactions. All right, so the first day was on the 22nd, and I had one for sinking funds. So this transaction was a Dollar General. I got myself some tampons and spent $5.89. Then I had a gas transaction. I just went to Sundu and got some gas and I got $30 worth and that was it on the 22nd. So on the 26th, I have four sinking funds and I'm just going to use one strip. All right, so bring it out my calculator. I'm going to let you guys know what I got. So I offered the church $5. Then at Rose's, I got my husband some gifts for his birthday and spent $26.71. So I'm going to put $27. I got him a card for his birthday and spent 107 so I'm going to put one. And at Dollar Tree, I got him some more gifts and spent $5.36, so I'm going to put six. So I spent a total of $39 on sinking funds. All right, then I had another gas transaction. Of course, this gas transaction was at Sundu, and I spent $20. The next transaction was for takeout. This transaction was unbudgeted, but I went to Crab Kings. It's a food truck that comes every once in a while in town, and I spent $26.29 there. Just going to put KK for Crab Kings. But it was $26.29 and I only had $10 in my takeout envelope, so it was $17 on budgeted. Then I had a spending transaction. I went to Dollar Tree and got some pens because I needed some black and blue pens because all my pens that I have are colored like this one. This one's green and it's actually the ink is actually green as well. So I need I need some pens that was black ink and um blue ink. And I got some from there for a dollar and thirty-four cent. And this entire transaction wasn't budgeted, $2. And that was it on the 26th. On the 27th, I had three sinking funds. All right, so all these transactions was birthday gift transactions for my husband. So at Dollar General, I got him some gifts from there and spent $44.79. And of course, I'm not going to tell you guys because I am doing the birthday uh, countdown on TikTok and also on my uh, main channel on YouTube. I'm doing some shorts on there as well. So if you guys want to follow along that, make sure you are subscribed to my main channel, Kia TV or my TikTok, LaKia J90. The next transaction was at Hobby Lobby and I spent $8.54. And then the last one was at Dollar Tree. I spent $6.69 there. And again, all these transactions were gifts for my husband out of my birthday's envelope. But that was it on the 27th. Then lastly, on the 30th, I had a transaction for gas. This one was also at Sundu for $40. And that is it, you guys. That is my month of June. I think I did pretty good. But let's go ahead and go to this weekly check-in. All right, so again, I do have my numbers here to let me know how, what, how many transactions for each category. So for spending, I only have one, and that was for $2. I didn't have anything in my envelope, so it should still be empty. And then remaining, I had th I was negative $37 and I spent $2. So I am now negative $39. All right, with gas, I had three transactions. I had one for 30, 20, and 40. So I spent $90. I added 70 and it left me with 90. And I spent all of that. So it should be empty. I had one 10 remaining for gas and I spent 90. So I now have $20 left. And then with takeout, I only had one transaction for $27. I added $4 and I had $10 in my envelope. So I will be negative, which makes that envelope empty. I have $44 remaining for the month. I spent $27. So I still have $17 remaining, which is crazy because that's exactly how much I'm going to budget it for. But yeah, so I'm on budget at $19 this week. All right, so let's move on to my monthly closeout. All 
All right, so again, I did go ahead and fill it out for you guys. So at the income, I estimated $2,430 for Jonathan, and he actually brought in $2,157. For myself, I budgeted nothing, or estimated nothing, because I don't have any income. But I actually made $199. That was from my state taxes that finally came, and I sold um, a radio. And then with child support, I estimated $150, and I actually bring in $136. So you see the difference here, which is not bad. Then with my fixed expenses here, I listed all of my bills that are fixed and it totaled to 1,251. I didn't save anything this month, so I'm at zero. Then my variable expenses, which is my cash envelopes and two of my bills that vary month to month. I budgeted $40 for spending and I actually spent 79, so I'm negative. I budgeted $250 for gas. I spent $230, so I'm positive, which is great. I budgeted $80 for takeout, and I spent $63, so that I'm positive. The light bill, I budgeted $200, and it was actually $363, which was two months in one, so I was negative. And then the water bill, I budgeted $25, and it's actually $24. So I'm just going to add all of that up. All right, so after adding everything up, I budgeted... $595 for my variable expenses and I actually spent $759 so I am negative. So I think I wouldn't have been negative if it wasn't for my light bill being you know two months in one. I think I would have been positive so that is that. So thank y'all so much for watching this monthly closeout. I hope you decide to subscribe and follow along my journey. I hope y'all have a lovely 4th of July weekend. Be safe you guys. I will see y'all on Wednesday. Bye.